Hey, welcome to day 13 of One Zen Tangle a Day. It's wonderful to see your smiling faces again. Today we're going to be learning two new patterns, and we're going to talk about deconstructing and reconstructing, which are very fun things to do. Let's get started with floors, which is another pattern that uses this diagonal grid as a base. We got lots of patterns that do that. If you're still not familiar with how to make that underlying diagonal curvy grid, go back to yesterday, day 12's video, uh, and um, I made three different patterns using it there, you can see. Um, the only thing we're doing to this pattern is looking where those lines crisscross and making little diamonds at those crisscross points. So I'm going to make a diamond that connects from line to line to line to line and then darken it in. That's all there is to it. I just do the same thing on every one of these crisscross points. And there you go, that is a super simple pattern. It's very light and airy. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the things that I like to do when I want a really light and airy pattern is I do exactly the same thing as this, except I make a little circle and don't fill it in. Instead of making a diamond, I'll just make a little circle and don't fill it in. And that makes a really even lighter and airier pattern than this. Uh, so that would be considered a tangulation of floors. Now, Anamato is uh, similar to some of the ones we've done before. You can see uh, we've got these ribbony shapes with circles lined up like, uh, like pearls or something. It reminds me of a couple of days ago when we made this perk pattern. It's very similar to that. I'm going to start with a couple of ribbony shapes. Notice that's just two parallel curves and then a space and then two more parallel curves. Start with that, put some big old honking circles in between, circles so big it goes from ribbon to ribbon, and then those circles should also butt up next to each other. But different from the perk pattern we've done before, instead of darkening in this space around those circles, we're gonna make little circles inside of those spaces, similar to the old tipple pattern from a long time ago. That one right there. So circle in the gap, a circle, circle, circle. And then in the uh, little ribbony shapes, we're gonna make rows of tiny circles. I think of that as like a string of pearls. Now I could stop there with just this one sort of strip of Anamato, or I could keep going and make another strip. The way that I would make another strip next to it is um, this ribbon of pearls here would be one side, and then I need to make the next ribbon over here, and then the big circles in the in-between space. There, so I did not make an extra ribbon on this side. I just used the ribbon that was already there from that. So these are together. And then we just do exactly the same thing, filling in with circles and then filling that ribbon with circles too. Like that. And there's lots of different things you can do with shading if you're interested. Uh, one of the things that I really like to do with this pattern is shade the large circles as if they are spheres or maybe not complete spheres, maybe hemispheres, or maybe little pearly gemstone thingies, but where they've got a shadow on one side, and it just makes them look a little bit rounder and more bubbly. And then along with doing that, I also like to darken in the ribbon of pearls around the edges. I just feel that brings some contrast to it that helps make these pearly spheres shine even more. And now we need to talk about deconstruction. If we take a look at this Zentangle here, notice that at the end of this Anamato pattern here, instead of those, um, those little ribbon things coming together, they split apart at the end. This one even overlaps underneath and goes out the other side. 
it kind of gives the feeling that as this onomato pattern goes up that way, it kind of splits apart, it deconstructs, it comes apart. Uh, also, you can see more of these little ribbony tendrils coming out. And there's lots of fun things you can do with that to make your patterns look like they're kind of falling apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a border and string and start myself a Zen Tangle here. Okay, well I better sign this thing before I run out of space. I've been having way too much fun deconstructing and then reconstructing. Um, you know, I've got patterns falling apart and then turning into other patterns, like my hollow balls here turn into some fluxes, and my Knight's Bridge here turns into some poke roots, and all sorts of craziness happening, and this is quite fun to do. Um, it is a little more time consuming, and it is a little bit more thought-provoking. You do have to kind of plan things out a little bit more, but wow, is that fun. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this, give a thumbs up to the video, share it with your friends, hit the subscribe button, and if you are enjoying the series so far, stick around for tomorrow and come join me for day 14.